All right, so we're having a brown out in Boracay for a while. But anyways, uh, today I wanna talk about, or this evening really, I'm gonna walk down this beautiful beach while it's raining and we're having a brown out. Uh, but there's a generator where I live, so it's not really a brown out for me. But anyways, um, more experiences, less things. Um, I lived in the United States and uh, I was very concerned with things. Um, fancy cars. I have a Mercedes S550 still currently sitting in my storage unit that I paid cash for. Everybody keeps trying to say that I'm bragging in the comments, your car's only worth 12 grand and this and that. Um, I'm not bragging. These are all facts. And when a car that's a $100,000 car is 10 years old, there's a little thing called depreciation. So it is what it is, man. So anyways, I had lived in skyscrapers in the United States. I, uh, you know, had designer clothing. I had uh, all the things that you want, the uh, material things. So, I realized at about 40 or in my 40s that big televisions, designer clothing, um, fancy cars, uh, you name it, all that nonsense. None of it means anything. It's all complete nonsense. Um, basically, what matters is experiences. Traveling, if that's your thing. Did you smile today? Did you laugh today? Did you enjoy your day? Did you spend time with loved ones? Did you spend time by yourself just walking a beautiful white sand beach or hiking in the mountains or walking a city, whatever your thing is. For me, my thing is walking beaches. For you, your thing may be walking around BGC or walking around New York City or whatever it is. But did you spend that day doing the thing that you like to do? That's what it really comes down to. And if you didn't, you need to change that if you have the money to do so. If you're just on the hamster wheel living paycheck to paycheck, I respect it. I lived like that for many years and I am not rich by any stretch of the imagination. But at the end of the day, what it comes down to is what makes you happy. And material things did not make me happy. Driving around in a Mercedes S550 for 10 years felt the same as driving around in a Toyota, to be completely brutally honest with you. It felt identical to that. I completely forgot I had a Mercedes. Driving around in my BMW felt the same as driving around in my Ford Mustang when I was younger and like one of my first cars was a Ford Mustang. It really didn't matter. Yeah, it's a nicer car, the leather seats, people look at you and all that, but who cares? Who are you really trying to impress at the end of the day? It really, honestly, it's all nonsense. You don't get buried with your Mercedes or your Rolex or your Gucci or your 90 inch television. It's all nonsense in the end. What matters is loved ones, family, your wife or husband, your sister and brother, your best friends from childhood, your new friends, random conversations with strangers, walking beaches or walking cities or going to the, whatever it is, that gets you going. I can't say, for me, what matters right now is, is walking 20 miles a day on white sand beaches and having random conversations with strangers. In five years from now, you know, my wife or girlfriend or, you know, whatever might be different. But at the end of the day, what it really comes down to is experiences and not things. I, luck I was lucky enough to reach the point where I got a lot of things and then I realized that things don't actually do anything for me. I don't give a damn about a difference between a 32 inch television and an 80 inch television. It really doesn't matter. A 10,000 square foot house or a 1600 square foot house. You know what, if the 1600 square foot house is on the beach, I'll take that. Um, for case in point, I have a skyscraper in BGC right now that's empty, that is 100 levels above and newer than technically my place here. But my place here is right here on the water. So I'm here breathing this clean air instead of that nonsense Manila air. So 
That's the difference right there. That's the perfect example. I literally just paid 30,000 pesos for my condo. Again, not bragging, these are facts. All these little haters in the comments, oh, he's bragging. Why am I bragging about having $750 worth of stuff? And $750, $250 for my Boracay place, $500 for my BGC place is rounding down there. Uh, you couldn't rent a bathroom in the United States. I'm not bragging, it is what it is. And I just paid $550 for that place. And you know what? I'm not even there. You wanna know why? Because my other place is right here. And I just, I'm not happy there. I'm only happy here. So I don't mind if my place is older, if we're having a brownout right now, if my place isn't super fancy, there's no infinity pool, there's no gym. None of that matters to me because I'm a beach person and I like white sand beaches and clean air and I like the Boracay vibes. I don't give a F about BGC. I just don't care. I don't know why. And I've gone over this so many times and I'm sure people are upset with me because I was the BGC spokesperson, but I just have to be honest. I love Boracay and I don't care about things anymore. I will no longer buy any fancy clothes. I will no longer buy a fancy car. I will no longer care about that stuff. Whatever time I got left, if I got another year or another 500 years, I mean, okay, 50 years or one year, I'm going to spend it having experiences every day. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to spend it worrying about buying the latest Louis Vuitton or getting the top tier Mercedes or getting the 90 inch television. I couldn't give a F about that. I've already had all that and hit heights most people will never hit in their life. These are just facts. Everything I say is a fact. It's never a brag, it's a fact. I know it comes off terrible when I act like I can get every girl and I'm wildly rich. I ain't wildly rich and I can't get every girl. I know, I just come off that way. I'm a confident guy, uh, I probably have a reason to be. And again, that was a terrible thing to say, but it's a fact. Okay, so there it is there. Um, more experiences, less things. It's starting to rain really, really hard here in the beautiful Boracay, and I better walk home or something or get underneath some trees or something. But yeah, at the end of the day, do whatever makes you happy. Things do not make you happy, in my personal opinion. If you're a younger guy, yeah, maybe that Mercedes will make you happy. If you're a younger guy, maybe you wanna get your first 80 inch television or whatever. But once you've had 17 of them, like myself, doesn't make you happy, experiences do. Did I laugh? Did I smile? Did I spend time with my loved ones? Did I have fun? Did I exercise? Did I feel healthy? Did I, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, because if I'm single to, you know, a family person, it's gonna be totally different. A single person like me, my, my happiness came from walking 20 miles on the beach today in random conversations with strangers. For most people, it's gonna be their wife, their girlfriend, their daughter, their son, their mother, their father. Um, you know, I can't wait to visit my father and my sister in the United States, but outside of that, um, I'm just doing me right now and my happiness has nothing to do with material possessions. I'd way rather live in a shack on the beach than live in a fancy highfalutin uptown BGC place. And I'm living that right now because I just paid my rent early two days ago and I am sitting here in BGC because this is my home.